Hello, Wellness Challengers. I hope you're having a great time on the challenge so far. Can't believe we're entering week three. Unbelievable. Where does the time go? I don't know. It's crazy. Well, we were talking at the information session on the back on week one or week two about healthy smoothies. And I feel like Carol is the healthy smoothie guru. So we've joined her in her kitchen and she's going to make a smoothie today and give us some other ideas on things that we can put into our smoothies so that we can continue having these healthy morning drinks that apparently we're going to try chewing later as well. You and the yes. chewing of this movie. If you haven't watched that video yet, you might want to go back and check that one out. <laughs> but I'm going to turn it over to you. All right. What, what do we put in a healthy smoothie? Well, first, Jody, what I'm going to show people is things that you can add to your smoothies that are kind of supplementary, but not necessarily what we'll be adding in today. So I do encourage, first of all, I'm a huge advocate of the brand Harmonic Arts. They're very pure and you get good value for your money. This is raw maca. And maca is the Peruvian ginseng. So when you add a little bit of this into your smoothies, you get a nice natural kind of energizing kick. Okay. Kick in a bag, I like it. Exactly. <laughs> now for those of you who like a bit of texture, which I know you don't after talking, but uh, cacao nibs are very nice dark uh, chocolate flavor. And what I like to do actually more than blenderizing them is I like to just put them on a spoonful, like a spoonful on yogurt or something to give that texture. So it's just, and well that I can handle. To... Texture and yogurt's okay. Cause exactly. it's like, cause because you can you mix crunch, it with your right? um, granola if you want. Exactly, yeah. very nice with strawberries as well because you've got that contrast with the cocoa flavor. Next is lacuma powder. Now, I'm going to read just right off the bag here because it's true. Delicious maple syrup citrus taste used as a sweetener and a great source of fiber. So this really is interesting. And this is a South American fruit and with a delicious taste. And it's uh, very, very uh, refreshing. So oh. you can actually add it to lemonade as well. Smoothies, yogurt, cereal, oatmeal, um, ice cream you need it so this is a brand new bag so i'll just open it up and unfortunately yeah. i know we don't have like the olfactory I know. scent on the thing but this gives you an <laughs> idea about the oh. refined powder of it they just have a little whiff of that oh that smells good mm -hmm. Lacuna. Yeah. yes and you can smell that maple right there all right now aci berry powder this is uh very very pure as well and what's nice about this is this is a great source of vitamin a and another source of fiber and we read a lot about the importance of fiber and that's why it's well nice and you to see a lot about this berry too totally which i can never say right asiaia i'm that's how i say it okay but <laughs> it's like the berry no one knows how to pronounce exactly. but it's supposed to be and a really good it's on the list for like cancer prevention huge antioxidant properties yeah. about it and it, just like here, it's a, an important superfruit and a um, host of antioxidants and flavonoids. And then this is what's interesting too, because it's anthocyanins, I believe that's how they pronounce it. But this is what gives it its beautiful dark purple color. Oh, yeah. Lovely. And it obviously, because it's got this dark, dark color, it does alter the coloring of your smoothie, but I don't find, I think the, the merits of it is worthy of the color change. Yeah, close your eyes if you have to. Exactly. <laughs> so we will be adding a bit of that. I love this kickstart. So for anyone who wants a little bit of a cocoa flavor in their smoothie as well, but uh, I agree with their marketing. This robust and flavorful blend makes a delicious coffee substitute or upgrade for your elixir drinks and smoothies. Mm -hmm. And once again, this has got uh, maca in and uh, dandelion root and herba mate. So as you can imagine, it's got quite that kick, but it's also that healthy kick without relying on like coffee, because that's why with the dandelion root. And if I can get it open. Sorry about the <laughs> delay here. That's all right, this is the entertaining part. Exactly. That's why we need the elevator music. Yeah. Well, trust me when I say it smells like cocoa. Yeah, okay? all right. Okay. You'll get it open. I later. will. Now, here's another uh, pronunciation one, baobab fruit powder. Mm. But what I like about this... Or we could say bobeb. Oh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> 
And this is a source of magnesium and potassium and vitamin C and a high source of fiber. So even when you're looking at this, uh, one and a half tablespoons has six grams of fiber, which is 24% of your daily requirements. So this is why I encourage people to think outside of the box with their smoothies. Obviously you're not gonna put all of the stuff in at once, but this, this really is something. You know the other thing what I like about this is you can mix it straight with water. Mm -hmm. This has got a huge amount of vitamin C as well. It's got 35% uh, of your daily amount of vitamin C in that one half tablespoons. And if you kind of just take a, you can smell that. Oh yeah. Bit. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. It blends very well with water. You can just mix it. I mean, it's kind of silky, but the nice thing is it's a great way to get some extra fiber and vitamin well, I think, C. Like you say, you don't put them all in one, but it gives you a really great option to change up the flavors because I think a lot of times you think oh I'm gonna put you know some coconut milk some berries and blah, and you drink the same one every day and then you start to hate your smoothie so exactly. now you can kind of add different flavors and do different things mm -hmm, totally it's exciting and that's why like you know people say about the price point it is a bit of an investment but really when you well, these See are pretty this. big bags. They like, are. You're gonna get oh yeah a lot of because it's you're only gonna put what like a teaspoon. Oh yeah, like in? The, I actually with this probably a quarter of a teaspoon. I've had this probably two years. This yeah. bag, and I use this quite consistently. So it's just giving you an idea about that. So that we're using, and now golden milk. This is really Sounds quite, fancy. <laughs> it, it's very lovely actually. And this ha has turmeric and maca in, and this is great for your circulation as well as inflammatory support. I don't really put this in a smoothie necessarily because um, unless I'm making one that I want to be for sure yellow, but where I like to do this is actually even if you uh, uh, warm up some cashew milk or some almond milk, put this in, then blenderize it with a little bit of honey. It's quite soothing, it's quite nice at bedtime. Ooh, yeah. But also you're getting that a lot of the anti-inflammatory properties because of the turmeric. Just be mindful that it stains quite a bit and you have a very, very yellow tongue, of course, after oh. consuming this. Because so maybe not before, not before, before a big outing. Someone. Yeah. Exactly, and same thing, it's just, and you'll see what I mean, because when you, it's very yellow. Oh, very yellow. And see, take a sniff. So it's got that yeah. definite turmeric. Yeah. So quite savory. I could I like the look I'm of like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm I a sweet it. girl, yeah. but it, yeah. <laughs> now it just kind of smelled a little bit like dirt, I'm not gonna lie. It's earthy. But that's okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> We're getting healthy. We gotta get and back to the dirt. The, yeah. the vegetables all came from dirt, right? Yeah, so it's good. Not out of a sugar bath, right? <laughs> I'm not the golden milk salesperson, but I'm sure it's lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you know, it really is. Because if someone had said, oh, Carol, I'll have some turmeric, I'd be like, as well. But it's yeah. quite lovely because if you have some natural honey in there too. So this is what I was talking about at the uh, food night, the mesquite powder. Oh, yes. Now this is interesting. Yes, it is. So this is a blood sugar regulator. So for people who even have problems regulating their blood sugar for perhaps di diabetes, just all of us. This helps prevent that little sugar crash. And the other thing I like about it is once again, dietary fiber, three grams in one teaspoon. So when we're thinking about this. And the other thing too, uh, even protein. But you've got calcium and vitamin or and iron in here as well. So that's, and zinc. Because that's the other thing, as women, we get uh, tendency Always to Always so low. Yeah. yeah, so this is the other thing. The other thing I like about this, as Jody takes a sniff, this is something oh, that see i was ex thinking because i think a lot of times you when you hear the word mesquite you think barbecue exactly and so i was like is it going to taste like barbecue sauce or but it doesn't no. it's got a caramel scent doesn't it yeah so this is awesome on hot oatmeal as well or Ooh. in yogurt so you don't have to just rely like and think kind of pre-plan if you're having yogurt with some berries Put a little bit of this on and it helps regulate the, the sugar. sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So we will be putting a little bit of that in there as well. We are going to be putting cacao powder in today and this, I just love the aroma, but this is ground up. Mm. Yeah, and once again, excellent source of magnesium, <laughs> zinc and iron and very high source of fiber. And once again, when we look at our labels, 
40% of your daily magnesium in three tablespoons. Now that's quite a bit, but I mean, if you even think about t using one tablespoon, you're getting a significant amount there. Zinc, 15%, and 20% iron. So this is the other thing, when people kind of, sometimes people who are reluctant to have smoothies think that they're not getting their protein. Enough their stuff iron. in them. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Now on that note too, because I'm a huge label reader, uh, where people can fall into a little bit of a trap with the smoothie is to watch the caloric intake, okay? So that's the other thing that's nice about these things. They don't generally, like this has 80 calories for three tablespoons. But you're probably not gonna put three tablespoons Exactly. In. So the, where people run into trouble is the amount of fruit and extras they're putting in. So I limit my fruit to one type of fruit per smoothie. Okay. So today we're going to be using half a banana for this. Well, maybe because you like sweet, we might, and they're small bananas. We're, yeah. we're going to put the full banana in. Okay. And it's a nice, small, organic banana. But generally, you know, if you're going to have <laughs> fruit in, there's nothing wrong with having maybe two fruits, but mix it up. So if you're having like a banana, then throw in maybe more of a citrus type, not uh, not grapes and banana, because you see where I'm going with the sweet level. Yeah, well that okay. would be kind of gross, grapes and bananas, wouldn't it? I don't know. I don't. We know. haven't tried it. But well, we uh, did. Don't try it. Or like, <laughs> let's say honeydew melon and cantaloupe. That would be yeah. a rather sweet one. Whereas if you did honeydew melon and cucumber, you see how you oh, okay. uh, alter. Okay. She's got so much to teach us. And then we're not using this today because I'm trying to get rid of my um, other peanut oh. butter. But She's just going to feed me the stuff she's trying to get rid of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've been trying for a long time. My son yeah. kindly bought this when he came home last year, but it's uh, mm. I'm struggling to get rid of it. But this is almond cashew butter, which is lovely. And as you can see with the natural ones, you've got that oil that settles at the front, and all you have to do is mix that up. And finally, Vietnamese Saigon cinnamon is what we're going to be adding. Now, now that smells more cinnamonier than cinnamon. It does, doesn't it? This is, that... is the Cadillac of cinnamons, Ooh. and um, it's the strongest of all the varieties of cinnamon and cassia, and it's perfect for cinnamon buns, apple pie, oatmeal, and lattes. The go-to for cinnamon lovers. So, uh, I mentioned this place at the eat session as well, but the Silk Road Spice Merchant excellent bang for your buck because a little goes a long way because it's so nice and potent like, and when you go so there it's cinnamon. multiple yeah. exactly and there's multiple kinds of cinnamon there so it's just a cornucopia of who knew cinnamon. it's true who knew and last but not least we are going to put in a little bit of vanilla and this is a nice natural vanilla as well okay all right and I do have some fresh mint if you want chocolate mint but we'll just kind of see all right. Okay, I'm going to let you take over the kitchen. Okay. So, my preference is definitely organic greens. Today we're using organic power greens. And I'm very generous with the greens. So when people say, I don't measure it out per cup or anything, but you know, you want a nice big handful for sure. And because Jody said she doesn't like too much texture, I'm going to stop <laughs> with that. But for my normal smoothies for me, I put at least three big handfuls. Because, really? Yep. Because okay. to me, you just can't get enough greens. I'm just going to pop this over here. All right. I'm going to get my tablespoon. So these spices that we were going through before, are they available at health food stores, yes. grocery stores, a combination of them? Like where do you uh, find this stuff? Largely I go to uh, Okotoks Natural Foods and it used to be Highwood Natural Foods. That's where I find, but you can also get them online as well. Okay. Yeah. And I've noticed some uh, grocery stores do carry a little bit, but uh, I like the consistency to try and get my brands. Yeah. 
already. And then we're going to put the berry powder in. It is. So see, awesome. isn't that something yeah. right away when you used to see that, huh? Yeah. I don't know if it's showing, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it'll be the three D house of yeah. horror. Yeah. It's our Blair Witch Project smoothie video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're it all I'm trying. Oh, no. I'm about to put the mesquite powder in. Yeah. Okay. Now the one thing I really wish I did have, but I'm out of, is hemp seeds. I do like to add hemp for the... Those are delish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they have the protein. Today I'm not adding the protein powder in, but I do like vegetarian based, uh, like quinoa based protein powders or pea based. Splash of vanilla, but if you want a little bit more flavorful. See, I've got this new bullet before I, I have, to have to change my order now in doing things. I've <laughs> and one banana. And you know what? Notice how we have a little bit of bruise, but bruising. You have the choice to take it off, but normally. It's just getting That's the nice blended thing in. about smoothies. Yeah. That's the other thing too, is like, you know, pay attention to the sale um, produce at your grocery store because you can get some great deals and you're just gonna mush it all up. Now, it's up to you if you want like a peanut butter flavor or do you want mint with the chocolate? Oh, let's do mint. Okay. Just for something different. So, I just happen to have... <laughs> Like, because it's conveniently on exactly. this paper towel here. <laughs> all washed and yeah, yeah, ready to go. Some mint. We see all the uh, work that goes into a cooking show now. <laughs> 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 Those guys are prepared. Exactly. And I might just, because we're going to, we want that nice chocolate flavor. I'm just going to add a little bit more. Never too much chocolate, Carol. Oh yes, and we forgot to talk about the liquid component. <laughs> I am quite an advocate of Earth's own uh, cashews, so fresh and unsweetened. Yeah. And same thing, uh, B12, 50% of your daily requirement, 45% vitamin D, and 30% calcium in one cup serving. So it's pretty good. Thank you. Bye. And what's it, if someone's probably more familiar with almond milk, almond milk to me is like really, really nutty tasting. So does this one not taste as nutty or is it kind of the same this has got a lighter flavor for sure smoother but the other thing is when i was reading about uh almonds can be inflammatory and so naturopaths kind of encourage people with uh, inflammatory issues to not have almonds and that isn't the case with me but i do notice that it's smoother and uh that way it's uh it's versatile because this way when when I was doing smoothies for clients I didn't have to worry if they had rheumatoid or any other arthritis. Well and I've read too that almonds they're a little bit harder like the almond milk is harder to digest if yeah. you have digestive issues yeah kind of challenges. Now that being said almonds still are very useful for sure I uh, I love, well, I love substituting to eat them. almonds yeah. in a, like instead of, like in a Caesar salad like mm -hmm. to use almonds instead of the egg and it, they mm. make an amazing Caesar salad now I'm gonna make it quite runny because you said you don't like too much <laughs> texture <laughs> I have I have some issues we're working on it's cool <laughs> <laughs> the key is to show that it's versatile right so. yeah. all right so here's what it looks like nothing too um, say daunting another addition that I quite like to add though is uh, dark tart cherries because oh. they're very uh, 
great for their antioxidants, but also they help with people who have sleep issues. And so if you have tart cherry juice in the evening, it can help with the sleep disorders. Really? Yeah. Oops, sorry. The one thing about my kitchen, I only have one plug. <laughs> <laughs> and they put it the furthest they could I possibly know. in the corner. Yeah, I find it very fascinating because of me being someone who likes to cook. Just to give you the pre, yeah. yeah. to share something that was funny that my son said to you this morning he said so what are you like Rachel Ray now yes <laughs> Carol McMillan is the new Rachel Ray of High River oh, right. <laughs> now as you can see now it's got a little bit of I like it's got the kind of a greeny hue still but earthy but you know for people who are totally Green phobic. I'll take that one. It's got a bit of <laughs> yeah. that one's hers. I saw the chunk. But when you see, you saw how much greens were in there. Yeah. It's not really, uh, to me, it's not that daunting. It looks more chocolatey. No, it looks more chocolatey. Cheers. Cheers. I'm a little afraid. Oh, it smells really banana-y. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yum. Like for real good? You for think? real good. Yeah, like Not I even just because we're on the video. Okay. It would be more funny if I just said, like, no. Well, that's why I thought it was handy. We're by the sink. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, and you yeah. know, for people who want a bit more sweet, like I like savory. I don't really like too, uh, things too sweet. Could always add some honey, you know. But it's always add. kind of daunting with like handfuls of greens of what that's going to taste like mm -hmm. and what that's going to be like. And you like can and... definitely taste the mint and the chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. But has that, you know, you can taste the greens in it, but not in an overpowering, like, what way. the heck have you done to me way. Exactly. And if we had thrown in some peanut butter, you totally wouldn't have tasted it, it at all. Well, there you go. Or, like, a little bit. So, no excuses to get those servings greens of fruits and vegetables for your five points. Definitely. So, there you go. All thank right. you, Carol. Well, thank you. Cheers. Have a great day. Cheers. Bye.